Hey, how's everybody doing today? Uh, Carlos again here. Now, I know it took me a while to get uh, this video out to you. Um, it's been... I screwed up and kind of lazy, but let's just go ahead and jump right to it. Um, this tutorial is, or tips and tricks, if you want to call it that, it's on medics. Um, I've been playing a medic for, I think, now a week straight, so hopefully I get this right. Um, I've kind of developed two different kinds of medics. Um, <clears throat> one is the reviving and one is the buffing. Reviving speaks for itself. So I'm going to go ahead and go with them. Um, I've noticed something, I don't know how it is for the console players, uh, it may be the same, but have you noticed that there is sort of like a lock-on feature when you try to revive somebody? Um, I've actually figured out a way to use it to my advantage. There is a, I've noticed there's a six meter uh, you know, there's a little indicator that tells you how many feet and meters you're away from them. Uh, I've seen that six meters is the closest you can get to the individual without you having to be directly above them. Because remember, you're throwing a syringe. Um, I've actually noticed using that as a really good tactic because you can, uh, you know, stay a good distance away from them and stay from any crossfire. Uh, that being said, the magic number is number six. Keep that in mind in case, you know, your team is really, really bad and, you know, medics are, you know, the front line. If you're in a squad and or you're just in a team and there's only two or three medics and everybody else is just dying left and right, you're going to end up getting overwhelmed. So always remember six meters, that is the the bottom line, that is, a, that is the farthest you can be from them to be able to res them. Something interesting that I found out is you can actually throw um, the syringe through objects. Now I'm not sure if it's going to be patched, so don't you know think I'm giving you a glitches or anything. Maybe it is. It is basically, but um, you I've seen it done, and I've done it myself. If you see the player on the ground and you see a little bit more than half of their body, the game will indicate that you can give them the syringe. Now if there is a wall uh, in between you and him for some reason you can still be able to throw the syringe so keep that in mind um, I've also noticed that when you're doing this this gives you the advantage of being able to you know hide behind cover because what happens is as you're throwing the syringe you can actually move backwards um, without worrying about disabling the <clears throat> the, uh, the, uh, the skill you can actually throw a syringe six meters away from the individual and move backwards into <clears throat> let's say uh, you know a wall or something can give you cover fire so keep that in mind um, I've noticed a lot of times that some teams are really really bad some players are you know more kill crazy than they are objective crazy um, if you see that you're losing a lot and you're using your revives way too quickly and there's just people not doing it not not playing properly um, I would suggest that you just go ahead and basically let the other team kill you um, it resets the supply points, of course, and it's just a little bit easier for you to be able to move to the area, get you know, get back in there, and get more XP. Um, I've noticed that with the medic, I mean, I've topped a little over 13k um, so far from playing. Uh, the self revive, I've noticed that is not bad. Just take into consideration that once you use it one time. It's usually like a two minute and thirty second wait before you get to use it again. So use it if you're in a tight spot and please always take a look around you to see where you can run next. Because you don't want to revive yourself and then just stand there and be like, hey guys, I'm a target, you guys can shoot me. No. Just take a take a quick second to look around and be like, okay, I'm gonna revive myself here and I'm gonna go behind cover. It it helps. Uh the Lazara's grenade, I don't know if I said it right, forgive me. Um, it's the AOE heal. Actually, when I first tried it out, I thought, you know, because it was a thrown weapon, I thought maybe I could use my grenade launcher. The grenade launcher didn't really help. It didn't do anything, actually. It didn't even work. So, just avoid that. Um, the grenade has an AOE effect when resing people. Um, when you first see the animation, you notice a little blue cloud, and it's literally a little blue cloud, but the effect goes far beyond the actual radius of the animation. Uh, it's you know I I tried it a few times with a, a few you know good reses here and there I got of course a ton of points but just keep in mind that it is a thrown weapon and it's it's uh, you know even though it's a small animation it's still a large uh, AOE heal effect 
Um, the adrenaline boost that you get to use uh, is also really good. I've noticed that if you have a guy who's clearly the heavy in the group and he likes to carry a giant minigun, and normally that individual is going to be running gun. It's always good to give him the adrenaline shot because they can absorb damage and him having a minigun, you you know, he should be able to take down most of the team and it helps. Keeps them from dying too quickly. Now remember, after the adrenaline shot is in, administered, they will receive all the damage they've received during the a uh, few seconds, so you will have to res them eventually. Um, it's always good to also use it in primary objective classes, especially if uh, I know there's the uh, container city, there's a lot of objectives for like soldiers and engineers. It's always good to give them an adrenaline shot for the time being so they can take the hits while they're setting up either the bomb or they're fixing the crane. Um, the transfer supplies, it's self explanatory, it's not the greatest thing in the world. I didn't really like it, but they're, you know, it's there. Well, I hope you guys enjoy uh, this tips and tricks I just said, uh, and uh, let me know what you think. If you have any more comments, go ahead and post them down, and uh, let me know. See you around.